So let's go through first the documentation. This is the documentation of a router widget. You will get the link of a documentation in our bio. So basically here they explain every part of a router widget. They explain every parameters which they are using in the router widget here you can see. So today I'll integrate this router widget to our define exchange. So this is the exchange, here is the exchange, here integrate the router widget. So let's start integrating router widget. I clone the defined interface to our the local PS code. So let's start integrating. So firstly, I'll create a folder called a router widget in our VS code. And one file called a router widget. So here my, I am using React. So according to your language, you can use the format of your language. So I am using functional component. So I am copy and pasting the code. And I am going to copy paste this code to the and copy paste code. I'll copy paste the iframe here. So just make sure you can put your style as for your uh, language. So my uh, I'm using ReactJS. So I will just change this to the ReactJS format. It. Also, the source is not correct. So here also I can use the ReactJS format to use that. I also have to create one route for router visit. So I'm doing that. I'll create one route here.
So I created the route as well. So our, after running the code, our router widget is look like this. Okay, so as of now, widget will be look like this. So we look like the two changes. As we can see, we we get the visit on our exchange. So uh, we also want to change the color of this widget. So for that, we have a parameters. So we are going to change the color, background, and the text color of this widget. So we are going to do that. For that, I'll firstly change the background color. We have a parameter called background color, where I just have to put my background color, whatever, as per my requirement. So I just put it as a black, which is same as in our swap page. So what is compiling now? Yeah, it's done now. Our background color is changed now. So we also want to change the color, text color here. So for that, we have a parameter called text color. So we, here I will put a text color as a white. So now I want to change the color of these boxes. For that, we have a parameter called as CTA color. Here I'm just going to put a color as of my requirement. So I just put out put it as a blue and save it. It is compiling now. So now you can see our boxes color is changed to blue. We also have one parameter to put our logo here. For that, we have a parameter called logo URI. For that, we just have to put the URL of, of, URL of our logo. So I'm going to put it and save it. As you see now, our logo is on the top of the visit. So you can see this is very easy to integrate the visit to any exchange, any website, and it site, and it it is it is very easy to change the color as per our requirement. So now I'm going to explain the every parameters of the router visit. So let's get started. So first parameter is a is visit. Is visit is always set as a true. So for that is the second parameter is the visit ID. Visit ID is a unique ID which is provided to every e website or exchange which is going to integrate the router visit into their website. You will get the visit ID by contacting the router team. Now explain the third and fourth parameter that is from chain and do chain. It is basically a source default chain and destination default chain. It is for setting the default chain on the visit so from destination side as well as the source side so here by default it is set to 250 that is for phantom and uh, destination side it is set to be 137 that is for a polygon so you can see here you can see here it is uh, source default chain is phantom and the destination default chain is polygon let's move to this fifth and sixth parameter it is basically a default source token and default destination token our fifth parameter is a default source token. It is basically a, a token which you want to set as a default. And the two token is a basically a, a destination token which you want to set as a default. So here first one is, is for a define and the second one is for a route. Here you can see it is also set as a default define and the route. Let's talk about the restriction parameters. Restriction parameters, these are the restriction parameters. 
it is basically a optional parameters so you can use this instruction parameter to restrict some chains and restrict some tokens so let, let me explain every uh, restriction parameter first one is a source chain it is basically the list of the chains which you want user to use in the source site as the same the destination chain it is also it is as the same list of the chain which you want user to use in the destination site so these are the restricted chains parameters the third and fourth one is a source token and the destination token it is basically the list of uh, addresses which you want user to use in the source site and the same for the destination tokens these are the list of addresses which you want user to use in the destination site so these are all the restrictions parameters so you can use according to your needs then i'll discuss about the cta color text color background color and logo url as we all, uh, already done with these four parameters like it is basically for the changing the color of the visit as uh, for background color is basically for the back changing the background of the e visit the text color is for changing the uh, text of the uh, text color of the visit and the cta color is the basically the changing the uh, color of the boxes and logo URL is basically for the uh, URL of your logo which we'll put on the top of the visit. So as you see, it is very easy to integrate the router visit on any exchange on any website. It is very now I will show you doing one transaction using a router visit. So I'll first select the chain from where I want to do a transaction that will be the polygon. So I want to do a transaction to phantom chain and I will select the route as a token and in the destination site I want to swap for define. So you can see I will select define here and I will do a transaction for 0.1 route and there is also option of fee token I will select as an route as a fee token swap it confirm swap. Now we can see it is transaction is happening. Now you can see the transaction is happening and working now. So it's successful. You can see transaction successful we will get the seven define on the phantom side see how easy it is to integrate the router visit to any exchange or website